name is Daniel Howe. I'm a mineralogist and I study diamonds and I am a STEM nerd. So these are stereotypical diamonds that you're probably more used to seeing. This is $20,000 worth of diamond and we'll probably create maybe $40,000 of gems. But for a geologist that's not that interesting. There's very little information we can get from a pure gem diamond. What we look at uh, is this. These are they're all diamonds and they're all full of inclusions and fluids. And the diamond actually acts as a transport. It can basically transport minerals and fluids from the very deep earth and bring it up to the surface without letting those fluids or minerals get altered in any way. So the most common impurity in natural diamonds is nitrogen. We can use this instrument, uh, an infrared microscope, to analyse the nitrogen in a diamond. The reason we use uh, liquid nitrogen is to basically cool the detector so we can get a really small signal. And we actually use lasers to basically blow holes in the diamonds and we catch the material that we've blown out of the diamond and analyse it. And that gives us an idea of the, the chemistry and indeed the conditions in which diamonds grow. If you're interested in a very specific subject, whether it be diamonds, crystals, dinosaurs, whatever, uh, it's always good to, to contact people that are in that field. So that's the good thing about science, is you get to collaborate with different people all over the world and you get to travel to their labs and do different types of analysis all over the world.